Uh, a hard fought draw, I thought, this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, it's one of them, isn't it, where <laughs> the way they play, the way they do things, that they're obviously always going to create chances. You know, I think from our point of view, it was only up until the goal and beyond that where they obviously uh, they had one or two opportunities from crosses, corners, etc. Uh, before that, I, I must admit, I was very calm. You know, I, I was happy with the way we were sort of defending it. Um, I, I suppose the, sort of the biggest disappointment, if there's any disappointment really, is that we never got the second goal and we had some glorious opportunities early in that second half to do that and take the game away from them. Um, but yeah, I, listen, I, I would have took a point before the game and the reason I, I say that is I know, I know how difficult it is to, to deal with that style um, and probably three or four weeks ago we might have might have lost it, might have you know caved in a little bit but the, the players sort of stood up to it manfully and um, you know deserve what they got. Yeah, that's what I said to, to Liam. I think four mm. weeks, five weeks ago, mm. you may have lost it. And, and especially, it's quite unique, isn't it? You've got the two, the left and right centre half, mm. effectively playing as wing backs at mm. the end, and you've got the, the other centre half scoring the goal. Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously, I think the, the, to be fair to the centre half, he, he, he stayed in there, didn't he? And, uh, you know, he, he took a little bit of a risk and it paid off for him because he got his goal. But, um, yeah, listen, I thought, you know, at times when we had to and, and when we got the opportunity to, I thought we played some decent stuff. I thought, Thought Brook not and Cuffy was was outstanding today, and we've seen a little bit of a, a glimpse of what he's capable of. I see right him in a second. Uh, it looked like David Kerslake nearly got as many congratulations to the goal as uh, for Liam for scoring. I understand it was his idea. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely Kers and the backroom staff who who, who come up with the the, the corner and. Um, yeah, there was two or three that they were speaking about uh, in the week, and we went through it quite a few times yesterday. And um, yeah, fair play to him. Um, you mentioned Brook, he had a couple of sticky early minutes defensively, but mm. if you like his attacking play, that run at the end of the first half and mm. what we saw in the second half seemed to help him get his confidence defensively as well. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge part of his game. You know, his attacking play is a big, big part of what his, what his um, best attributes are. But um, yeah, he, clearly he was a little bit nervous initially, but it was his you know, first league start. Um, I know he's come off the bench a few times, but it was his first league start. It was a big game, obviously. Um, the elements didn't help us again today, a little bit similar to Burton, uh, could have done without that. But yeah, he came through that and got stronger and stronger. And McGrandles, we thought in midfield was ex excellent. Yeah, well, we, we need Connor. it's important with Connor in it, you know, even when he's not great with the ball sometimes or he has a bad day with the ball, it's important that he's the one who's ultra competitive and, and holds his position because obviously you know how important Liam is to us and obviously we've missed him from a, for big, big chunks of the season. So Connor becomes really important to do that role. Perhaps one of the other eye catching moments was that save towards the end from, from Josh, mm. which was, I don't even know how long his arms are, and he's like Inspector Gadget, I think, mm. he managed to get to it. Yeah, and I'm glad he did because uh, obviously, you know, I think that would have been very, very harsh to, to lose today. I thought we were more than just sort of justifiable for, for the point, but, you know, if anything, probably the three points. But um, yeah, for Josh to, to do his bit at the end would be good for him. Um, you know, that's why, uh, you know, that's why so many people have got high hopes for him. And you said to us in pre-match, win second book walls, show loads of fight and you had all that today. We did and we knew we had to do, you know, if we didn't we would have lost the game and I wanted just a little bit more composure at times, you know, because it's so hard to go from, if you're asking a player who's, you know, biggest attribute is getting on the ball, has got soft feet, can see a pass, to go and be really competitive and fight and scrap and then go back to his natural game within seconds it's difficult so getting that balance right can be hard at times but I thought we picked our moments today and did it quite well. Quick turn around for Tuesday and I know we spoke to you before the game about, about Joe Walsh is he potentially available for Tuesday just for the fans who are going home maybe didn't hear it? Yes yeah absolutely yeah um, it's got nothing to do with injuries or anything we just we just want him to play as many games as we possibly can and the only way we're going to be able to do that is manage what he does initially in this early part of his um, sort of rehabilitation to get playing on a regular basis. So um, yeah, listen, he'll be available for Tuesday, and uh, you know, hopefully he'll, uh, you know, as a he'll have a bigger as big influence on the group on Tuesday as he did last Tuesday.